I went to the beach last week with my family and it was so much fun. We had such a great time. And uh, one of the things that I really loved was that every morning my sister and brother-in-law and I would get up and we would go for a bike ride. And I loved it because I felt so good afterwards, right? Not only was I doing something good for myself, but I was spending really good time with my sister and my brother-in-law. We had some great conversations and just a good time together. But um, I was determined when I got home, I was gonna keep this up, right? I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna walk, or I'm gonna ride my bike every morning, and I'm, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna feel good. And so, yeah. I got home and for two days I did it and then I got a big, huge blister on the back of my ankle and that sort of stopped it. <laughs> uh, but isn't this what we always do? I feel like the things that we want to do well, um, we don't seem to do. And the things that we don't want to do seem to come so easily to us, like staying in bed instead of getting up and walking in the morning. But Paul knew this about us and he gives us a little bit of, of hope and a little bit of um, help in Romans. And he says, for I do not understand my own actions. I, I just already, I feel comforted because Paul is talking about this. The man that spread the gospel of Jesus all over the place, that he doesn't understand his own actions. For I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. And then he goes on to keep talking about it. So it's no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells within me. So there is a war that is raging within each of us that has said yes to Jesus. And that war is that we have we have a sin nature. We have a nature that go, wants to go against what God wants and what's best for us in his eyes. Um, but for what comes easiest for us is that sin nature. And so it, it desires for us to do the things that we don't want to do. So for instance, when I'm uh, behind a car, and this always seems to be the case, that is going too slow on Marco Island, and my sin nature wants to rise up and say, oh my gosh, God is helping me, <laughs> very slowly in this case, to be able to take a step back and say that I have the love of God in my heart. And he is working in and through me to be able to be patient. Patience is something that in the car is not one of my strong suits. And I want to go right to impatience. And he is teaching me that patience is, is um, one of his fruits, one of the fruits of, of me learning to be more like Jesus. And thank God Jesus gave himself for us on the cross. He made a way for us to be able to draw straight from the source, our Father and our God. We can draw from Him. We can learn from Him as we read the scriptures. So I just want to encourage you today, if you feel like you're always doing that thing that's not right, <laughs> that you're not alone and that it is a struggle, that there is a war that's raging. But take heart because we have a, a victor in Jesus Christ who has already overcome for us. And as we continue to draw close to him, as we continue to learn who he is and what he means in our life, he helps us every day to win the war within ourselves so that instead of doing the things that we don't wanna do, we can start doing the things that we do want to do as we cherish his word and his, his work within our lives.